It's Andrea Praver with Great Expectations Realty. It's day, I don't know what, of quarantine. Things are getting rough. Now I'm just messing with you. Actually, it's actually pretty comfortable <laughs> around here. So I just actually wanted to show you guys what it's uh, like working from home over here. Um, so I get to wear my Packers t-shirt to work. Um, I get to still work with my daughter because she is homeschooled and normally she has um, a little um, kids room or office area at the office but basically she's now at the home office so not much difference there. I get to wear pajamas. Okay. Yeah she does get to wear pajamas to school so I guess there's that um, but just kind of gonna give you a little show of whoops, sorry <laughs> home office so um, there is no door to the office which that's kind of proving to be problematic um, especially when doing videos and stuff. Um, as you can tell, we kind of have a serious love of books, like, a lot. Um, but yeah, here's where I'm set up now. Um, again, some things are problematic, such as the dog that loves to whine, especially when I get on the phone and stuff she like should, that. She keeps trying to get up on the bed. On the yeah, she keeps trying to get up. She likes to be up higher. Um, I think I'm just going to bring her dog bed in here. Hopefully that'll work. Anyway, so this is my setup. Well, we are like hardcore roughing it here. Sorry, I had to switch the camera around. It was like getting really black and dark because the window. So anyway, so yeah, seating area here. This is our snack bar, basically. Thank you, Amazon. Um, actually, we had this before because of um what we do for lunches normally we normally pack our lunches and take them to the office so it's normally like a sandwich or something that we've that i've made the night before or leftovers and then this we get to like take one or two snacks with us as well in our lunch bag it just kind of makes it a little more exciting so now it's just a snack bar for the office so anyway then we have um the extra fridge it's an extra fridge because it kind of came with the house and we already had a fridge so the nice fridge is in the kitchen, and this one is over here. It used to be for, well, the freezer section we would use for, like, the freezer meals and stuff, which I'm really big on. No, the water thing doesn't, I mean, we don't have a hookup for that, so it's just there. Anyway, um, but yeah, so freezer meals go on the one side, which are just, you know, I don't know, um, barbecue pork or something in a freezer bag, and you just take it out, dump it in the crock pot, and there you go. There's dinner in eight hours. Uh, <laughs> and then on the other side would be all of the, um, the lunch stuff, like I said, like sandwiches or leftovers and little individual containers. And, um, our lunch bags used to be up on top. I still see some of the brown lunch bags. Um, but those are in the kitchen, just cleaned and whatever, ready to go whenever we actually eventually get to leave the house again. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of filing that needs to get done. This is... Lexi's right now. She's over here. Um, I asked my husband how and why he has a glass head. We haven't quite figured out what to do with that or where to put it yet. So it's just there. Um, Lexi also has a desk in her room, but she's just kind of, every time I come in here to work, she's just so used to being close to me when she's doing her homework that now she uses that one. But normally this is my husband's desk, hence the filing. <laughs> Um, and then this is our at-home copier printer. Yes, it is on top of another copier printer. Um, we bought that one used and it did not work at all. Um, but So we were going to use it for our office and then we just didn't. And it's been there ever since. So it's basically just holding up our actual copier printer, which is phenomenal. It is, um, I, obviously I'm not getting paid for this. But <laughs> I will say this is the best printer, copier, scanner, whatever, um, that I've ever had, ever used, or ever want to. Um, we've had it, oh, good grief. I don't know, five years, ten years? I don't know. It seems like forever. Um, it's laser. It works absolutely amazing. Um, I buy the refill cartridges on Amazon. Those are $19, and it lasts basically like a year. It's like a huge printer cartridge. So we always have one as backup just in case we run out, but this thing is just awesome. I mean, like a one-year supply 
at least, depending on how much you use it, and we can print out contracts, we can scan contracts, we can do anything and everything. So can't say enough for this copy machine. Um, definitely with as much as we scan and email out to people and scan into like DocuSign and stuff like that for electronic signatures and with everything going digital, you have to have the document feeder. Absolutely have to have. Um, but anyway, but this thing is amazing. So I don't know what is this image class MF four seven seven zero and I doubt it's even made anymore, <laughs> but it's amazing. So just a heads up on that. Um, but yeah, and then you know office supplies and where the files are actually supposed to go, and a random wrench because I don't know why. Um, so yeah, that's basically that, and yeah. So we are still working. Um, things are actually. Seriously, everywhere I go, she goes. It's like, seriously, really? Um, <laughs> and the reason, by the way, that I don't have her up on the bed is because I'm actually severely allergic to animals. So the pet dander. So um, <laughs> I can pet her and then I immediately go in and wash my hands and stuff. But if she has to lay on the bed and get the dander all in there, I can't then sit on the bed. <laughs> it would be like really, really bad. So um, my dog absolutely adores me and she loves being with me. You notice she's not following around anybody else in the house. She's following me around. The one that's allergic. <laughs> so we make it work, but there are certain places she can't go. So she gets to sit on the living room couches. Um, and then I wash those off, but yep, that is how we manage to get things functioning. Don't we Bridget? I got to figure out where she is. There you go. So, but she really wants up on that bed really bad, but she's older and she can't jump up. So, and I'm not going to help her with that because again, that's one of the places I would like to not have pet dander all over all those pillows. So I might bring her dog bed in. Might do that next. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is our home office area. This is where we are still, um, getting some work done and yeah. So, <laughs> um, lots of fun more or less. Um, good days and bad days. It's kind of weird. Um, some days I'm like, okay, let's reorganize the office, do all the filing. Let's bake a thousand things. Let it, let's just. Yeah, she's been baking like crazy. Y'all know there's like a thing going around where everybody's making banana bread. She made banana bread, not once, but twice. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I mean, and then there's other days where I'm like, not going to do makeup. Not really sure if I'm going to get out of my pajamas. Nobody's going to see me. I have nowhere to go. Nothing much to do aside from the computer work and phone calls. Um, you know, just kind of cabin fever crazy. Uh, <laughs> especially on rainy days. It's been cloudy the last few days. So it's kind of like, ooh, let's just pile more uh, depression onto this. So I know I'm um, not trying to make light of this. Um, I know a lot of people are out there. They're really sick. There's family members that are um, really suffering right now. And there are people dying. And I don't want to say that, you know, in any way this isn't um, a very serious matter. But at the same time, we are all in this together. And we're all, every one of us, <laughs> trying to get used to the new normal. So, um, feel free to let us know what you guys have been up to, what it's like at your house, um, especially if you guys are fellow realtors, because the real estate stuff is kind of crazy, yeah, but, the um, real estate community is crumbling at the moment. <laughs> they are, they are like, like realtors. We love action. We love, you know, let's go do this. Let's do that. Let's, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy all the time. And it's so fun and it's so addictive. Um, and now it's like so different and so weird and we're all just like okay we're all extroverts for the most part and um yeah extroverts are having a harder time with this than the introverts are so um yeah just give a hug um you know digitally if anything else to your fellow extroverts out there because <laughs> um, we're basically um, clinging to life via Facebook or other social media right now. So, all right, well, we're going to get back to work and um, hope to hear from you guys and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.